Some big news and money for JCPS today. The district just this morning says it's received what's believed to be the largest single gift to the Jefferson County Public Education Foundation. That gift totaling $20 million. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio was joined by the principal, Spanish teacher, and the athletics director over at the Academy of Shawnee for this announcement. Our team's Connor Steffen was there. A once in a lifetime gift from an unsuspecting donor. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio said it was one of the best phone calls he's ever received in his life. JCPS officials made the multi-million dollar announcement here at the Academy at Shawnee. It's believed to be the largest single gift ever received by the Jefferson County Public Education Foundation. The $20 million comes from billionaire philanthropist Mackenzie Scott, the former wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. JCPS Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio said the gift will help fund a new initiative being rolled out by JCPS aimed at closing inequity gaps in the supplementary funding of schools. He said while schools in wealthy areas have as much as a quarter million dollars in supplementary funds. Places like the Academy at Shawnee have around five to 10,000 on hand. The new program called E3 looks to change that, focusing on funding in three areas, engagement, environment, and experiences. That encompasses things like funding PTA memberships, staff appreciation, upgrading classrooms and uniforms, and more. The funding will be allocated among schools in the district's school choice zone primarily high poverty schools in West Louisville, like the Academy at Shawnee. Principal Kimberly Rice said her staff is already outlining where their money could go. She said one major necessity they'd like to meet is increasing the number of mental health counselors for students. This $20 million will fund this initiative, we believe for up to 10 years, but we wanna keep this going for many years after that. This is the way we bridge the achievement gap through funding. This is the equitable funding that we just haven't seen before. Polio said the use of funds are essentially unrestricted by Scott. And with that, he believes the possibilities for students are endless. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, WHAS 11, on your side.